You guys know and remember why the barrier mask is 16%, why the bag valve mask is 21%? Exhaled air versus ambient. What was that? Exhaled air versus ambient. Yep. Everybody ready? Everybody good? Yes, no, maybe? Okay. Uh, BSI scene safe. Check the face of pulse. Not breathing. I'm going to get two rescue breaths. Watch the chest rise as I do it. My bag valve. Gonna use a CE type maneuver. Make sure I get a good chest rise. Even though Wayne's getting good chest rise, if you're doing it and all of a sudden you see the chest doesn't rise, immediately give a second ventilation because the evaluator will keep the clock running. If he doesn't see the chest rise, even though you gave a ventilation, he's going to keep on counting. If it gets to 30 seconds, he's going to pump you for it. So if you don't see a chest rise, another one immediately. If it doesn't go up, then reposition your head and do it. Right? Patience too wet to keep moving. <laughs> I'm turning my oxygen on the 25, 15 liters. At this point, put the oral pharyngeal in, measure from the ear to the jaw, or to the mouth, and insert it at a 45 degree angle, rotate it to the back of the throat. Now at this point, your 30 seconds of ventilation start. Yeah, this and again, the evaluator will start for 30 seconds. After that clock reaches 30, he's going to say second rescuer is on the scene. He's going to be second. Oh, Wait, somebody they can bend over. I know. Let's <laughs> get somebody just bend down. And again, they want to see good chest rise for 30 seconds. And again, being a competent EMT, he's going to be checking for spontaneous pulse, making sure a patient still got a pulse. All right, second rescue is on scene. Okay, go ahead and bag them. Five to six seconds. And while he's doing this, Wayne's going to say, okay, I'm looking for a visualized chest rise and fall. I'm going to check for spontaneous pulse. Evaluator's going to say both of them are present. And after 30 seconds, he's going to say, okay, and it's good. I'm going to have my, pay, my partner pre-oxygenate and have to go my patient. <coughs> and that, yeah, that leads you right into the next station as far as the, the uh, King Airway. Because if you notice in the King Airway, the first thing you have to do is you have to pre-oxygenate your patient for two minutes before you ever try to stick this piece of plastic in your patient. Remember, it's going to take you some time to get this King Airway set up. So you want to make sure your patient's good and saturated with oxygen before we put that King Airway in. Any questions, comments, or remarks? Uh, 